There's one question that has been making humans debate since a really long time. Does God exist? But the second most important question is something that is related to the first one, which is does the soul exist? Ibn Sina, the famous physician, astronomer, and philosopher of the Islamic golden age, once came up with a thought experiment through which he tried to prove the existence of the soul. Though soul and body are not the same in nature, they have a strong connection to each other in reality. The flying man thought experiment. Through this thought experiment, he concluded that the soul exists and is immaterial. He also said that humans cannot deny their own consciousness and awareness. But what is the flying man thought experiment? The flying or floating or suspending refers to a state in which the subject of the experiment thinks on the basis of his reflection, without any assistance from sense perception or any material body. Ibn Sina asks us to imagine someone being created out of thin air and is a perfectly functioning adult. So this person is suspended or floating or flying in mid-air. His vision is veiled, no part of his body is touching anything, not even the ground, and even his limbs are separated in such a way that they don't even touch each other. So basically, he is in a state of total sensory deprivation. Also, since he has just been created, he doesn't even have any memory or any experience. So, will such a person be aware of his own existence? Even though this man is deprived of sensing his own body, Ibn Sina argues that he will be aware of his own self. In his own words, there is no doubt that he, the flying man, would affirm his own existence, although not affirming the reality of any of his limbs or inner organs, his bowels or heart or brain or any external thing. Indeed, he would affirm the existence of this self of his while not affirming that it had any length, breadth or depth. And if it were possible for him, in such a state, to imagine a hand or any other organ, he would not imagine it to be a part of himself or a condition of his existence. Now, one of the results that Ibn Sina draws from his thought experiment is that even though the flying man knew that he exists, he is unaware of the fact that his body exists. This shows us that we are not our bodies, and this means that a person's self, his essence, is an intangible soul. Now, this should remind you of the very famous quote by the French philosopher Descartes, Cogito ergo sum, which means, I think, therefore I am. Through this statement, Descartes, who came roughly 600 years after Ibn Sina, tried to prove the existence of the conscious self, something which Ibn Sina's flying man experiment seeks to prove. However, he was guided by radical skepticism, while Ibn Sina just wanted to prove the existence of the conscious self or the soul. Thus, long before Descartes, Avicenna had already established an argument for the existence of knowledge by presence, without any need for the existence of the body. The detractors of this thought experiment by Ibn Sina are mostly those people that don't even believe in the soul. They say that the soul is not even a thing. It's just your central nervous system or an effect created by it. But that still doesn't disprove the immaterial soul that Ibn Sina talks about in his experiment, where the soul actually resides and what the different religions have to say about it and what the scientific opinion on it is a video that I would love to make and upload on this channel. By the way, what do you think about this? Share your views in the comment section below.